Harper. What's up? So today I'm going to be trying to use a sketchy USB to MIDI adapter that I found on Amazon a while ago to sync up my Volcas to Ableton and see if I can control them from there. Basically right now I'm just making a little loop to use as the basis. First up in line we have the new bass. I'm using an external instrument on a MIDI channel and then just routing it in through my Zoom microphone as a audio input. Oh yeah, and I'm plugging in my launch key to try and control it from there because I thought that would be a brilliant idea. Occasionally the computer will lose communication with the new base and then it just kind of comes back. I don't know why. So I recorded in this little MIDI track and promptly found that the notes won't play if they are quantized or right on beat. For some reason it just won't send any information, so if your stuff is quantized you gotta nudge it just slightly off mark. Around this point in my experience, it just kept losing touch with the synth and just trailing off in annoying ways and I keep trying to fix it. Okay, next up we got the Volca sample. I'm thinking I could use these crunchy drums to really add something fun to the beat here. This is when I find out that all of the audio will be on the same track, but all of the MIDI needs to be on separate tracks because each sample slot in the machine is assigned to a different MIDI track, which kind of makes sense, but it would make more sense if you could melodically play the MIDI uh, I'm getting off track. The point of the matter is um, I'm making a kick drum track here that'll have my kick drum on it and then I will make a snare drum track and all of the drums will be sent together on one drum bus channel. finding the same quantization mute issues this time, which is good. process is pretty smooth. I'm surprised it was so glitchy with the bass one, but whatever. Bastard. 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 